So guys, this is a very rough diagram of fallopian tube. The actual aim of this diagram is to show you the fallopian tube. It actually, it starts from the uterus, goes through laterally, goes laterally, and ends above the ovary. So if we draw the fallopian tube individually, I would show that that a part of it is in uterus, this part actually. So this is the uterine wall. And this is a part of the fallopian tube inside the uterus. I will not continue lumen, just show you that fallopian tube will continue laterally. And it will end, you know, before ending it will expand and become a tortuous and expanded tube and this part will actually be called the ampulla of uterine tube. I will discuss the part. It will then end into a funnel shaped opening. These funnel shaped opening has finger like projections which are called the fimbria. And only one fimbria will be long enough that it goes and attaches with the ovary and this fimbria will be called the ovarian fimbria. This was just an outline. So now we are dividing the uh, you know, fallopian tube. This part inside uterus will be called the uterine part of the fallopian tube. From the uterine part till the expanded and tortuous part will be the isthmus. Now the tortuous and expanded part will be called the ampulla of fallopian tube whereas as fallopian tube end it is in funnel shaped you know condition this is called infundibulum. Dibulum. This infundibulum. Now infundibulum has finger like projections which are called fimbria and one fimbria is a long and is attached to superior pole of the ovary. This is called ovarian fimbria. So these are the parts of the fallopian tube. Ampulla being the largest part, I haven't shown it as here as a largest. This is a tortuous course and that is why it will be the largest. Ampulla making two third of the uterus, oh sorry, fallopian tube, isthmus making one third of the fallopian tube, uterine part and the infundibulum are minor. Now, as we can see, there are two openings, right? One opening here and one opening here. This opening, the uterine opening, will be called uterine ostium, whereas this external opening will be called a Abdominal ostium. So these were the parts of fallopian tube. Fallopian tube has nothing else actually. It is actually present over, one thing to say that it is present over on superior surface of the broad ligament of uterus which will be extending like this. And on superior surface would be this fallopian tube. So the importance of this fallopian tube is actually to move the oocyte from this ovary into the ampulla through the abdominal ostium. At the same time moving sperm from the uterine ostium to the ampulla. The oocyte and sperm fuse either that is fertilized in the ampulla. So ampulla is the site of the fertilization. The resulted zygote moves through the fallopian tube and gets implanted in the uterus. So this is a function of the uterine tube. Now that is the normal function. Abnormally sometimes the zygote which was produced here the it converts into embryo and gets implanted right here in the ampulla. So ampulla is also a common site of ectopic pregnancy which may lead to a hemorrhage and ultimately death.